This video was brought to you by Stoinberg, Abed Ruhr Planner, Mr. Green, Camp Power, and Marcus Biel. Yo, what's up? We are now in Slovenia, and this is the village. It's a small village called, uh, what's it called again? Česnica. Česnica. It yeah. means uh, Cherry Village or Kirschenberg in German. Cherry Village, yeah. yes. And you guys probably know, you know Metron. I've been using these cool Metron cables lately, and this is Andre. Are you one of the founders? or? Yeah. Is he the owner of Metron? Partly owner and one of the founders, yeah. So I just happened to pass by here on my trip to Croatia and I want to show you guys this, well, I'm not sure what show we should call it, a house or workshop. <laughs> Actually, it's our technical center. Technical center. Yeah, it's not uh, where we produce the cables. The cables are produced at Croatian border. It's where we develop. So it's mostly development and technical center and we live here as well. Cool, just show you guys here. Look, we have solar panels, we have charging all over the place. Uh, let's start with this car. That, that used to be a very special car. In 2015, we set a world record driving 824 kilometers on a single charge with average speed of 72 kilometers per an hour. So it has quite, still has quite some amazing features. What, what kind of car is it based Hello. on? Hello, oh. how are you? Oh, the <laughs> okay. car can introduce by himself. <laughs> okay. I am Metron 7, the best electric car ever built. Well, so how can it go so far? <clears throat> because it has a huge battery, 86 kilowatt hours netto, or efficient, uh, effective 86 kilowatt hours, and it has a very efficient motor. And it's also very efficient. All the holes are covered, uh, even the air intakes are covered because it has such uh, good efficiency that we don't oh. need air intakes. Air intakes are automatic, they open in, in heat or when driving uphill, when driving above 30 kilowatt power. Well, is this part, has it been replaced? Is it original? No, no, it's a bit customized. Oh, okay. It's customized. Well, well, it's a big, where do you have the, can we see under the hood? Yeah. And you can't see the battery, it's, it's all like with Tesla, hidden. Oh, uh, okay. Huh? You can't really see. What about, what, the trunk must be full of batteries then, in the back? No. We even have more, frank, uh, more trunk than the original Mazda. What? Oh, it's a Mazda, okay. Yeah, Mazda 5. Mazda 5. Used to be, used to used be. Used to be Mazda 5. Yeah. <laughs> but I must say, we don't convert cars anymore. It was at that time in 2014 that we converted it. And then we drove in Germany this huge distance. And around, we drove around Bundestag, uh, I want to say Bundestag something in, in Berlin to show that the car can do it. Because at that time, German car industry was constantly repeating that Electric cars have no range, they cannot do, do more than 200 kilometers, despite having a lot of Teslas on the road at the same time. Was it, when was this car uh, made again? Or? It's called 15. Oh, wow, okay. Okay. Do not enter. I am under high voltage. <laughs> Just to prevent touching okay. when it is uh, on some exhibitions. Huh. Cool. Okay, what else do you have? We have some other converted cars here. And what's maybe most important, like the workshop when we, where we make cables, also the technical center and our home where we live is all powered by sun energy. And uh, this energy is stored in huge 250 kilowatt hours batteries. 250 yeah, kilowatt I can show hour. You, you guys are not messing Maybe around. Maybe there is something that's really interesting for you. What? You have a DeLorean? Yes. <laughs> because it was the last car we converted. We go to the future with this car. Is it electric? Yeah. It's what? Electric. An electric DeLorean? Holy guacamole. Wow, <laughs> this must be one of the kind. No, there are some more. Okay. I think, but this is quite a powerful one. It had a 55 kilowatt hour battery 
and 150 kilowatt uh, Tesla Roadster motor. Can it hit 88 miles per hour? Yes, uh, <laughs> it can hit even more, so it can go to the future. <laughs> okay. And here are the storage batteries where we keep our energy. Oh. Whoa, that is really DIY. DIY. And what kind of form factor is this? It's a big, bigger than the 18650. Yeah, yeah, it's bigger. It's uh, lithium ferrophosphate. It's not NMC for fire LFP. safety. Oh, it's LFP battery. Yeah, yeah. And how cold does it get over here in winter? It gets quite cold, quite cold, but not in here. Okay, so you don't have problem with cold, cold weather and uh, no. LFP. Yeah, we, uh, no, because it never gets below 10 degrees here. Okay. But interesting, if you, if you use LFP, do you have, is there some challenges with keeping the cells balanced? Up till now, not. We have, the first system was built like six years ago, and now it just expands. But it's more of a test one. Okay. At our uh, production site, there you have a, a fancy one. This, this site is not fancy at all. <laughs> it's like, you know, from some magicians doing some work. But 250 kilowatt hour, do you ever spend that much here? Oh yeah, oh yeah, because we have uh, five electric cars. During summer peri period, our workers are also allowed to charge here. And we have two apartments where we live. So my family and one more family. So yeah, we do spend. We okay. do spend. And I must say, what's maybe a disadvantage of going solar, because it's the energy is for free, we don't really take care uh, how to spend less energy. So actually, we spend more than we would spend if we would have to pay for it. Uh. <laughs> I must say, I must say, that's the truth. All we right. even drive more because we pay, don't pay for it. And hmm. that's a disadvantage of going electric. All right, what else can you show me? Hmm. Well, you know, I, I just have to see this uh, inside the DeLorean. I've never seen it before in real. So this is where the flux capacitor is supposed to be, right? In the yeah, back yeah. Now here uh, we have a vehicle to home system, so you can power your weekend house or you can cook coffee. <laughs> it's a, a one and a half kilowatt device to get uh, 230 volts. Otherwise it's a bit different. Really silently. Cool. You have two buttons to go reverse and forward. Here you have the battery condition. Hmm. And that's all was different. This part and this part. All the rest is original. Awesome. <laughs> cool. All right, let's see. So, where do we go next? In here or out there? Or? You have so much stuff here. <laughs> yeah. Maybe we go to the place where we have technical trainings, but now because of Corona, all the trainings are postponed. That was the first charging station in style of Gorenska, the region we live in. Hmm. It's not very modern, it's an old fashioned style. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe what we can do is to cook coffee from this car. Okay. Make what car did this one used to be? It used to be Panda. It's an electric Panda. Converted. Fiat Panda? Yeah, 4.4. Four. Four. <laughs> okay, so you, wait, you have a Shuko. Uh, it's almost like a... <laughs> Actually, yeah. it's not a Shuko. It's Type it's, 2. It's type and you two. Can, yeah, be, and you can charge another car from this mm -hmm. Type 2. We also charge electric motorcycles. Oh, this is this outlet, not inlet? It's outlet. Oh. It's outlet. Wow. So, uh, we use it to help cars that are stuck on the road. Well, how, how much, uh, how many kilowatt can you pull from it? Uh, one and a half kilowatt. Okay. Yeah, so it's helps. enough just to start to charge a little bit to move further. And yeah, of course. <laughs> oh, that's the heat up. Well, you see, outlet like this, should be more common in EVs, right? Yeah. 
Yeah, but you sure. have a big battery. I'm, it has 40 kilowatt hours, yeah. so quite a lot. I'm waiting for the car producers to do it, but they somehow don't want to do it, so we'll, they will probably have to be forced to do it. Because when we will have it, then it will be possible to use cars as a storage, mobile storage, and that will open new ways into a sustainable energy transition. Actually, it's a necessity to do an energy transition. Maybe it's more important to have it as a storage, but people understand better if I make them coffee. Is that a zero bike? Uh, we, we are producer for zero. We make all the charging cables for zero motorcycles. Oh, so if you buy a zero motorcycle, you get our cable. It resembles the one I have. This uh, one. Uh, yeah, hmm. and uh, we also do some development on this charging system for Zeros, so that's why we have it here. And we are now converting this Zero for firefighters in Italy uh, to have electric pump, uh, 40 liters of foam, and to be like first aid on a highway. If there is an accident, he can pass through. So that is a, that's a kind of uh, developer's work. It's not... Uh, to sell. They are cool because these these zero bikes, they are fast. They can get to the scene way faster. Than yeah, yeah, they are very so, fast. Yeah. Too fast, I would say. A bit <laughs> dangerous. It's actually development office. It's not production. Wow, this, you know, this is like in Norway, Reodor Falgen, you know. Um, if you've seen the... Um, Oh, what is it called again? I just don't remember the, the English name of it. Do, do you know Il Tempo Gigante? No. The, 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 okay, uh, whatever. <laughs> so this is also special Tesla. It has an outlet. It's now uh, uh, two shukos. You can get four kilowatts out. Wow. Um, so we also use it to cook coffee, to go camping and cook food on it and we use it to help cars that get stuck on the road. Well, I remember seeing this on the website. Yeah. So there's a battery in there, right? Yeah, there is. There is an additional battery. It's like if I speak in the language of uh, fossil fuels, it's a little five liter canister with, with gas. Hmm. But here it's a battery. Yeah, why it's not? It's an additional battery. I can also do self-charging. So if I run <laughs> yeah. out of fuel, I full, uh, fill it with this from this one. So how many kilowatt hour does the battery have? Six. Have? Six? Yeah. S that's, that's quite a lot. Huh? Yeah, yeah. You managed to fit six kilowatt in this uh, Yeah, yeah in, in Frank. Huh. It's the old type uh, Tesla S. Yeah. You had the same. Yes. The hammer was the same. Yes. Uh, yeah. uh, Millennium Falcon. Uh, Millennium Falcon, yeah. So for people who don't know what this is, this is the classic Model S and it has a fairly deep uh, Frank in here <coughs> also. So. When I saw your video and how good is still Millennium Falcon, I decided not to sell this one <laughs> because it's still a very useful car. Plus, you know, you have a free supercharger forever. Yes. But that's a big advantage if you drive all over Europe. Oh, yeah. So now we are at the factory near the border to uh, Croatia and we'll check inside what it is in here. So I'm just charging up the car and uh, let's see what's inside here. This cable production factory runs on solar energy. We made here sustainable energy cycle. That's a micro, microgrid system based on inverters, uh, solar power, battery storage, and cars that can also return the energy. And it's all controlled. So when you have a lot of energy, then you store it. When you need it, then you take it. But it's all controlled in a way that we are able to uh, get as much energy as we need for the whole building, plus the two company electric cars. It's all here. So here we are the inverters, right? And yeah, uh, these are the main inverters. That's the solar inverter. And the battery. Is it, are they similar to the one you have in your home or different? Yeah, two batteries connected in parallel, so here uh, 
just uh, that, uh, that we have some redundancy. Uh, and uh, if, if one battery is, is out of order, the other works, no problem, nothing stops. Inside, nothing special, a lot of lithium batteries. The same LFP. LFP, LFP batteries, so no burning here. Hmm. Uh, it's quite, quite a simple design. You have a main contactor. Uh, there's a BMS connected all to all cells. And uh, there are uh, 16 cells in, uh, in series and many more in parallel. So uh, it is a, uh, actually a 51 volt nominal system. So you can touch with, with your hands. Not, nothing, nothing. Uh, there's no danger uh, of electric shock. All right, what is this one? Yeah, this one is a very special, special car. Uh, at Metron, we uh, actually converted 18 of those cars, but this this one this one was the first, uh, the first one, and uh, also has a much much bigger battery than than uh, anything else we converted to electric. First, he was power, uh, the, the car was powered uh, with a uh, turbo gasoline engine, small one, uh, made by uh, Mercedes, and uh, that uh, engine uh, fall apart uh, at uh, 100,000 kilometers, and then. Uh, we decided to convert it to electric. Uh, everything is prepared. There's a double floor down, and uh, there's uh, there was a space uh, for, for the for the batteries. Uh, so uh, it was an, quite an easy conversion. Uh, what is special about this car is that uh, it was a, actually also a test mule for the Renault Twizy electric uh, small electric vehicle uh, that you know. Uh, maybe maybe you can film it down down below. There's an electric motor from a Renault Twizy. Oh, yeah. The prototype uh, before uh, before the series production has some uh, some uh, uh, air cooling uh, heat sinks uh, and uh, the gearbox stay the same. So this car is electric and has a six speed gearbox. Huh. So it's uh, just passively cool or uh, passively cooled. Uh, no coolant uh, ever also the batteries uh, the batteries are very big. So this smart is actually uh, has a two times the range of the original uh, smart that is produced right now uh, by a smart company. That batteries are down there below the seats. Here's nothing, and uh, and also down down there. If you but under under the the, the floor, and uh, there's a third battery pack also here inside because we when we put out the uh, the radiators for cooling and uh, air conditioning there was quite a lot of space inside so we put adi additional battery so here is uh, 30 kilowatt hours <laughs> of batteries <laughs> in this tiny car <laughs> yeah and the range the range is 300 kilometers, what? 300 kilometers, <laughs> and the record I was driving when the batteries were new, fully charged, 100 percent state uh, uh, state of health. Uh, I run uh, 342 kilometers on the real world. Wow. Uh, okay, no highway, of course. <laughs> uh, so uh, as far as we know, this is the uh, highest range smart on the road. Maybe, maybe uh, somebody did something better, but uh, I doubt. Well, that was pretty cool to come here to Metron, finally. You guys have been seeing the, the Metron cables. I, I like them because they are so compact and simple to use and they have the cool features, like you can change the, the number of amps just by pressing the button. So, so really cool, Andre, to show me around here. Those cables were produced originally for motorcycles. That's why they are so small and light. Ah. That's the reason. Yeah, you know, you know, the first time I saw the Metron cable was in Sweden, in uh, Uwe Karlix. There was that guy, he had this Type 2 that was connected to a red plug. And I was like, ha, what the heck, what is this weird connection? Is it? So you, you put all the electronics in the Type 2 plug. <laughs> yeah, to fit in a motorbike. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, so <laughs> it was for reason. bike. But uh, okay, awesome. So thank you so much for the tour. Here it is produced. The oh, cables yeah. are produced here and they are produced only with sustainable energy. So no fossil fuels, no coal. Off-grid. And no oil. <laughs>
Awesome. Yes, that is cool. I think you guys love the, the concept here that it's just the way it is now. So anyway, I think that's going to be it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.